Hey, welcome back to Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong, and here is my little boy, Declan. But uh, <laughs> he would not let me film this without being in it. Wonder Woman did bonkers at the box office. It dropped very, very low. Domestic total $206 million, foreign 230 with a worldwide total of $436 million. And as heroic Hollywood want to say it, it beats box office estimates and drops only 43% to $58.6 million. Now, how important is that? Is that almost every film in the modern superhero universe has dropped more than 43% for sure. That is phenomenal. That means people are still going out, watching Wonder Woman, and The Mummy, I guess, wasn't that great. But Wonder Woman, incredible box office, incredible. And I was going to talk a little bit more about that, but I wanted to go into something from the film junkie. He put on his website, Justice League reshoot set images begin to surface. And as he's looking through it, he, he shares with you on this. Uh, I want you to go and check out his video. I don't want to uh, totally give everything out so that he doesn't have a chance for you to look at his own work. But one of them in mind is this logo. And as he's pointed out that this is uh, dates back to like the 1900s of Germ in Germany. So this is the Justice League reshoots. Joss Whedon is handling this. We know Joss Whedon really wanted to do a Wonder Woman back then and because of the studio success whether you like to say Warner Brothers is very reactionary or not they looking at it right now that Wonder Woman is their triple A character to put on screen right now Wonder Woman made money let's put more of her in Justice League so I don't know if this was already in the works for Wonder Woman fans out there, it looks like we're going to have a lot more Wonder Woman. Uh, Connie Nelson already said that she's also in the movie. Robin Wright is also in Justice League movie. And we know, we kind of know that because there's a war at the beginning, I think, uh, as what as it looks in the trailer. So we're going to have more Wonder Woman in Justice League. And Joss Whedon probably couldn't be even more happy to finally get to direct Wonder Woman uh, for however small that amount is or however big that amount is. But they're putting Wonder Woman out there, and that is just how studios think. Look at what Marvel did. They put Iron Man everywhere because Iron Man was the top billing character. And before Wonder Woman, Batman, Ben Affleck, they were putting him, they were putting him in, in Suicide Squad. So that they know what characters are top billing, and they're willing to plant extra seeds into those things. So for Wonder Woman fans, great news for you, Justice League. They're putting more Wonder Woman. However, in the downside, some of my friends who are like Bat huge Batman fans and Superman fans, they're going to be like, well, what about our character? I don't know how much will that will change or affect the movie overall in Justice League. I just want my big boy Superman to come out shining brightly, if that's if that's a too hard to ask. But Wonder Woman looks like Wonder Woman's going to be more in it. There's going to be more shots of it, maybe tie in, tie up together the 1900s Germany, see where Wonder Woman went from there. Uh, and I have a suspicion that it has to do with that scene where she's swiping feet and flipping her hair <laughs> i'm just I, it's a big guess but that's it for now that's it for today i got another video coming out. i want to talk a little bit about godzilla and hopefully i can get this guy to bed yeah getting late pal all right thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye